Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. Before I talk about the zebra I'm gonna paint on this 15 by 30 inch canvas behind me, I'm gonna show you my paints because I've got them in my other hand and I can set them down. We're gonna, I'm gonna use titanium white. I think I might just toss them in the chair next to me. Mars black. Actually, I'm gonna hang on to um, raw sienna. Is that raw sienna? Raw sienna. And I think I'm gonna use some cad yellow medium hue. So for the background, I'm gonna use black, white, and the raw sienna. I guess I could have tossed those down. And then I'm gonna use a two inch brush. It's just a really inexpensive, I think they call them chipboard brushes. This one happens to be from Blick Art Materials. Okay, so I found this zebra photo. It's a photo by David Stribling. Look at this photo. It's on um, wildlifephotos.com. Oh, I'm getting glare. Isn't that fun? I love the angle. I love that it's looking down. I think it's gonna nibble on some grass there. But I'm gonna paint it more like, whoops, I went the wrong direction. This, isn't that fun? And then work with some shadows and things. Oh wow, look at the glare. Okay, I'm gonna work on the background and I'll be back in a bit. Let's chat for a second. I moved my phone back so you can see more of the canvas. If you buy a black canvas, paint it with a black paint you have in your studio. That way if you need to make any adjustments, the blacks match. Um, the other thing is this part, well, first, you can tell I've got some, you can see there's light. I've got some new lights up here. I'm hoping that'll help video. So I appreciate your patience while I test out like this is daytime, that little bit was nighttime and test out the angle of the lamps and things. So thank you. And thank you for sending support for the channel. That's how I afforded the, the lights. Okay, most of this doesn't matter because it's gonna have a big zebra face up here. And then you can kind of see down here, I've got some browns. Here, let me try flipping it and see if that shows up better. So this is what I'm thinking is my bottom. Oh yeah, you can see the color. Okay, good. So I have some directional strokes kind of pointing you in, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanted some brown on the bottom. And then to get a brown, I just mixed quite a bit of the raw sienna. That's the raw sienna with a little bit of black and you get kind of a burnt umber color, which is fun. Okay, I just wanted to pop in and mention a couple things paint your canvas black if you buy a black canvas. And I think that's about it. I'm gonna get my giraffe, or my giraffe, my zebra transferred on. Hey friends, let's chat for a minute. So I gave you a quick little tour of my um, 15 by 30 inch canvas so you could see all the traceable on it. And what I did was instead of just drawing outlines, I actually drew in all the white stripes because I realized I could see that better than if I just kind of 
traced it like I would a normal photo or a traceable that I have. Um, I've got a black, uh, a horse on, a, on black, then it threw me a little bit because I just had done that. I'll link that in this video's description. This is still throwing me a bit. I paint on plenty of dark backgrounds, but the black is as dark as I can go, and it's not black black in areas, but still just throws me a bit, so I just thought I'd let you know. And then the ear is probably one of the harder things because it's blurry. It was moving when the photo was taken. Oh, sorry about all the glare. I'll kind of move it around just a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I, I got that in. Here, I'll show you the... This is my mock-up. So that's the, the photo. Um, I'll link that in this video's description. And then I just put it on a black background in Photoshop. Oh gosh, sorry about the window. You can tell it's late afternoon. The window's shining really bad on my iPad. There, that might be better. And then I also put in a little shadow on the forehead. Okay, I'm gonna hang on. My head might pop in there. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I took a drink of water. So I added Cad Yellow to my palette, uh, raw sienna, Mars Black, titanium white. And I'm not. I'm using white, but I'm not painting white directly onto the canvas. In the warm areas, I'm painting the cream color. In the cool areas, I'm painting gray, dark gray, or the brown. And the brown is mostly raw sienna and a little bit of black. Um, this is a little yellow, a little raw sienna, and a lot of titanium white. This color I put in the eye. It's mostly cad yellow with some raw sienna in it. Um, we'll get to the eye a little bit later. And so what I'm basically, I'm just watching the value changes in my reference photo, and I'm, they're darker. This is much darker than the reference photo. Um, but I can come lighter. Or I may just want to have the light lighter down here. You know, the cheek and the eye keep you in, oh, you probably can't see that. Oh, you can a little bit in the middle of the painting. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. My throat. Hey, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I was about done. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I'm using a number 12 flat brush from Royal and Langnickel. It's their Zen line. It's about, oops, it's got yellow on it. It's a half inch. Um fairly thick. I like it. I picked it just because it'll fit a lot of the skinnier parts or I can turn it sideways. You can use, I could use a bigger brush. And then all I'm doing is just piecing out like a puzzle. I'm just finding edges. I'm not like, I can't paint, I could paint the whole ear, but I'm going to want to make sure I've got the values and the stripes right. Cause there's hairs that come over kind of like with a cow. You know, that has the fun fuzzy ears. What else? Oh, I have, this is fun because I can, I'm going to like this area better because I can put in some expressive, expressive brush strokes. Like this is a fat one and then I've got a skinny one. Um, these are going to be flatter because it's much shorter hair. I think that's about it. I'm going to keep working on this and then I'll pop back in.
Okay, a couple thoughts. I'm still using this half inch flat brush for the most part. I need to wash it, I got paint on the handle. Every once in a while I come in with a, it's a craft brush. It says number, I can't read it. I think it says number three, it's kind of a round, small round. Um, I'm already noticing, well here, I've really exaggerated the color and the shapes because in the original reference photo, hopefully there won't be too much glare. I'm really close to my canvas too. It's much darker and there's some grass over it so I can't see every detail. But I've exaggerated the shapes and the color, but I'm gonna come in and darken it some more. And I realized I've got, I mean, this is a neat shape, but it's too angular. I need to widen that a little bit and round it. Here, can you see the nostril? I can, I'm, the phone is a little bit in front of my face, so I can't totally see what you guys see. Hopefully you can see that. But it's a good, it's a good strategy. You know, paint, oh, it's wet, so I'm, I'm waking up the black paint and it looks, it'll look darker when it's wet. <laughs> um, it's a good strategy to paint the shapes you see and even exaggerate the contrast. And I can come back in and glaze black. If I wanna lose an edge, like right here, I could just paint black. Or if I want to increase this edge, I could paint some brown, a little, a little bit lighter brown on the background. I think that's about all I wanted to say. Just that this doesn't look very good, but I like shifting the color. Um, a lot of zebras have more brown on them than this one, um, and even some brown on their nose. But I really like need to darken this area down too, quite a bit. And in general, I don't have my sun. My light's kind of coming from, let's see, how far can you see? My light's kind of coming from top right. I'll have to go grab my sun. Okay, I think I'm gonna pretty much quit for tonight and then I'll be back tomorrow.
Hey friends, so that last little bit was the live that was time-lapsed. Um, this is two weeks later. I haven't had a chance to get back to the zebra painting. When you look at it in my phone, it looks done. I really like a lot of it. I need to, I want to define the top of the mane a little bit more. Um, and I definitely want to put some whiskers down on the nose, that sort of thing. And I think just get a little more paint on it. So this next little part might go quick, but I'll pop back in in a bit and let you know what's going on. Hey friends, I'm done. So this sat in my studio for two weeks after I finished with the live where I was working on the forehead area. And I think I would have painted it differently. But the more I looked at it, the more I decided I liked the thinner area areas of paint and the lighter stripes. And then thicker areas of paint where the brighter stripes are. I think that's kind of neat. Um, normally I like more paint on my paintings. Here, you can see I've got my reference photo on my iPad. Um, that's on Freckles' bed, which is also a zebra blanket. <laughs> and then to the right, I just have a stool with my palette, in case you want to see that. Oh, and then I don't always show you this. To, a little bit more to the right, I have an art cart with water and stuff. Okay, so let's take a little tour, because this is a 15 by 30 inch. Um, hey, Freckles. So I put in black, gray, and one lighter gray. This big one, let's see if I can point, that big one right there is a little bit lighter gray, um, just for fun. I didn't put in every hair, chin hair that I saw. Put a couple on top of the nose. Isn't that fun? But when you get back, it all starts to blend. It optically blends. And then here you can see thinner stripes and paint, and then thicker. But I like it. You guys can let me know in the comments. Oh, and then I added one more hint of a stripe there. I did put in some of the long eyelashes on the bottom of the eye. And I think I brightened up the eye just a smidge more again with some yellow. But see, just a couple of brush strokes indicate the short hair on the zebra. Oh, and then I darkened up. This looks lighter in the video. But I darkened this up, push it back. And I darkened up some of the stripes here. I'm gonna step back again. I don't know if you can see it. And then I mostly worked on the ear, gave it a few more details, gave it a few more highlights. There. And then I lightened up some of this part of the mane. Isn't that fun? Very loose. Well, actually it could be looser when I did paint over onto the side. That's really fun. It's a really good warm, cool steady um, and light, dark values. Very few colors. Okay guys, I'm gonna turn my phone around and say goodbye. So that's a good reminder for me to not rush through a painting. And yet my thoughts are I've gotta get some paintings done. I have a show in June. You know, I gotta get onto the next thing. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I have freckles on my lap in case I look kind of funny. Super appreciate you tagging along with me. I just love connecting with you guys. Great big happy art hugs and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.